Wow, it feels so great to be back in community and feel this collective energy. Now, let's settle back into our seats and relax with a physiological sigh. It looks like this. Let's try a couple together. One more. Okay, I'll begin. 33 years ago, I was asked a simple question that changed the trajectory of my life. My beloved yoga teacher cornered me in the hallway one day and asked, Sandy, why do you always leave yoga class five minutes early? Busted. I had to fess up. While I loved yoga, what I couldn't stand back then was the last part of class called Shavasana. For non-yoga folks, Shavasana means corpse pose, so it's exactly like you'd think. You lie still on your mat for the last five minutes of every yoga class. So I explained to her that five minutes felt like a long time for someone like me who was not wired to pause on demand. I didn't yet understand the ROI of stillness. Back then, it just made me anxious. Today's equivalent would be the reflex to grab your phone and feel busy rather than enjoying a moment of pause. You know what I mean? So I explained to my teacher that I am much more comfortable being upside down in handstand than being still, and that's why I always left class early. She thoughtfully responded and said, it's funny, we often avoid the things in life that we need the most. Followed by a statement that blew my mind even more. Stay today and enjoy the stillness. Enjoy the stillness. <laughs> but I trusted her. I knew that it, even if it meant getting out of my comfort zone, that she had good intentions. So that day, when she said the word Shavasana, I stayed on my mat. Yes, my eyes were wide open, my mind was spinning, my heart was racing, my stomach felt a little sick. After a few failed moments, though, I caught her gentle voice, and it reminded me to close my eyes and breathe. So I took a slow, light, nourishing breath, and I visually traced it all the way up to my chest. And then I eased the breath out. Whoa, my body took the second inhale and exhale like it was craving this new feeling. And this time, I could hear the space between my heartbeats. My mind felt still, and my stomach felt safe. I took that third slow, light, nourishing inhale and exhale, and it brought me home. For the first time ever, while I preferred action, I enjoyed stillness. And I felt the value of fully connecting to myself I knew it was a moment I'd never forget. It also made me curious, what if I took the power of three deep breaths off the yoga mat and into my life to help me control my nervous system and emotions anywhere? What I had avoided became my North Star. Isn't it ironic that corpse pose made me feel so alive? I realized right then that how you breathe is how you are. Um, oh, okay, hang on. Since March of 2020, COVID has taken our breath away on many levels, and it's likely that you've been holding your breath in fear of COVID at times without realizing that when you hold back your breath, dysfunctional breathing causes stress 
and it sabotages the very things you're trying to protect, your health and immunity. We've been running from everyone's breath because the resource that gives us life had become a possible deadly weapon. Our routines were upended. Our days became consumed with taking all possible measures to avoid COVID. It was an intense and scary time in survival mode. But your fight or flight nervous system response to danger is meant to be temporary, not lived in for two years. It needs to be balanced with rest and digest relaxation breaths. So let's take three calming breaths together now. Get comfortable, maybe both feet on the floor, close your eyes, place one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly, and start in your breath deep in the belly. Take a slow inhale and visually trace the breath as it goes all the way up to your chest and then slowly exhale, making your exhale even longer than the inhale because relaxation happens on the exhales. This first breath reconnects you to you so that you're internally focused versus externally distracted. The second breath, again, from deep in the belly, inhaling through your nose, light, slow, nourishing breath and slowly exhale as your heart rate slows and your blood pressure lowers. The third one, you know the drill, starting from your belly, slowly inhaling through your nose. And make this the slowest exhale yet as your body switches from autopilot to self-service mindful breath. The slow breathing signals your brain to release endorphins, also known as the body's natural painkillers. You can open your eyes. Maybe that was the first time in two years that you've taken three nourishing breaths and fully reconnected to yourself. Or maybe it was the first time ever. It feels like magic, but it is neuroscience. My first three deep breaths back in 1989 helped me to access what I began to call my inner sanctuary. It was my way of understanding the sacred space inside where breath is always at the ready to help me experience life more mindfully. You've got an inner sanctuary too, and it's unique to you. You've got one, you've got one, you've got one too. I'm channeling Oprah here because everybody's got an inner sanctuary. And the key that unlocks this place of refuge, mindful breath, and you're in. Breath isn't meant to just keep you alive. Mindful, strategic breath is meant to help you feel more alive. How you breathe is how you are. So my advice to you about breath is don't listen to me, listen to you. Ignoring your breath undermines your body's natural ability to regulate stress and optimize your health. But listening to your breath, paying attention to your breath empowers you to create your optimal energy. How you breathe is how you are. As we emerge from COVID now, there will still always be stress and challenges in your life and in the world. And now I'm asking you to trust me to help you get to know the power of your breath and enjoy some stillness. Now I live for those moments of pause and self-care. Mindful breath is a respite from stress and Wi-Fi to human connection. How you think and feel is a choice. Choose breath as a catalyst for how you want to be, because life is made in small moments of stillness. Thank you. (laughs) 